Hi guys, today is March 19th, 2020 and uh, futures are pointing down again and uh, uh, yesterday uh, President Trump uh, uh, signed a second stimulus package um, that's supposed to help the American economy and uh, ECB, which is the European Central Bank, uh, they said that we'll, they will um, inject uh, 750 billion euro into European economy by uh, directly purchasing assets uh, in the European economy such as uh, uh, bonds and uh, direct uh, purchases of uh, banks and securities and so on and so on. So futures were um, up after that uh, announcement uh, but uh, overnight uh, uh, as more cases of uh, virus uh, coming in uh, futures uh, were pointing down again. So. Um, right now it's uh, tr uh, SPY, I'm jumping to SPY, it's trading at uh, $238 and I told you uh, several days ago and yesterday that I'm watching this uh, $234 uh, level which was set in 2018. Um, yesterday uh, it, actually was, it was actually an encouraging sign because uh, it, didn't, it did penetrate that level but it bounced right back. Uh, so. That was uh, kind of an encouraging sign, and also I am watching uh, VIX uh, symbol VIX, which is the volatility index or fear index. As you know, that uh, when uh, uh, VIX goes up, the stocks go down, and uh, when VIX uh, go down, stocks go up because uh, vol it's a fear index. So VIX was uh, actually down a little bit uh, yesterday. Oh, I mean, it was up, but uh, it's opening down a little bit today, and uh, it, it was straight, very strange with trading. So then I looked at the VVIX, which is the um, volatility index that measures the volatility. <laughs> so symbol VVIX, and that was down. And that was kind of, as you can see, that was down yesterday. And that's pointing to me that the volatility may be starting to subside a little bit and we may put like a temporary bottom, at least a temporary bottom. Well, I mean, I'm not sure if this is right or wrong. I'm just telling you what my indicators tells me, tell me. And uh, uh, I don't know, I mean, sometimes if they report more and more cases uh, of the virus, all these technical indicators will be thrown out of the, of the window. But at the same time, I can't ignore it. So uh, the indicators tell me that uh, yesterday it was uh, like a temporary bottom set because of this uh, VIX indicators and especially the VVIX uh, indicating to me that uh, maybe something is changing, at least uh, from yesterday. Okay, so let's jump to uh, other stocks and uh, I'm telling you, uh, I will tell you the stocks that I. This is the first stocks that I'm watching today. Um, uh, actually, uh, this is a good place to be in and to own uh, in general. So let's start with uh, uh, my uh, three horses in Novaya Pharmaceuticals. It's trading down this morning uh, a little bit. I would say that under seven dollars, uh, it's a good uh, uh, stock to buy because they're starting their clinical trials in April and uh, they could uh, produce some good results. Uh, Moderna already started clinical trials and they're hired this morning and uh, Monday they injected the first patient. The, face, the first patient, as I know, felt uh, fine and um, uh, they could uh, produce good results. I mean, as soon as they start uh, saying that they produce the good results, stock will pretty much double, I mean, uh, in this environment at, at least. So that's a good gamble in my mind, uh, even though it's a speculative stock, uh, but it's a good gamble. So Vier Biotechnology came down a little bit, but um, in high 40s, 50s area, it's too high for me, and uh, I'd like this to come down a little bit. Okay, so Regeneron, Regeneron, I told you yesterday, they reported uh, they are working on three things in terms of their vaccine. and. Uh, I think it's a really good uh, time to own a Regeneron, and but Regeneron is a little bit uh, expensive. I would own um, calls or um, call spreads actually, and uh, other pharmaceuticals uh, that are working on uh, uh, on this uh, virus, uh, GlaxoSmithKline and. Uh, 
and uh, Sanofi and J and J, Mark, all these companies uh, are in some capacity working on the uh, vaccine or virus uh, of the uh, on the virus vaccine or uh, some um, uh, drug that uh, could treat this virus. Okay, so other stocks that I'd like to own in this environment, and this is the first stocks that I watch that I like to buy, is Amazon. Okay, symbol EMZN. They're actually working over time, hiring more workers. They, several days ago, they said they they will hire more, uh, like a hundred thousand more workers. And I know it's an exp it's a very expensive stock, but still, it's uh, even a small amount. If you buy, it's a good place to be in this. Uh, um, in this sell-off, okay. Campbell Soup CPB. It's uh, pr trading pretty much uh, flat, uh, flat around uh, fifty dollars. But um, uh, on any pullback, that's a good <coughs> place to be in. <coughs> uh, <coughs> also, General Mills. Okay, General Mills. Uh, uh, reported so-so uh, numbers yesterday, and but uh, uh, it's actually uh, a very good place to be in uh, in this environment as well. <coughs> CMCSA uh, Comcast is the <coughs> is the cable provider company, and uh, <coughs> it's a good place to be in as well. So Verizon. Uh, as well as the cable provider and uh, uh, paying very high dividend and uh, that's not a bad place to be in okay Netflix uh, uh, zoom video I mean zoom video I'd rather be in Verizon and uh, Comcast than zoom video to sell the shoes but it's a good spec to uh, to trade it uh, at this stage okay and uh, the first stocks that I'm buying um, like uh, in terms of the tech stocks, is the uh, Intel, INTC, uh, that's a cloud-based computing company, and the chip stock, uh, AMD, uh, Microsoft, and NVIDIA. <coughs> NVIDIA also is the uh, artificial intelligence company and it's, uh, it's a really good uh, stock and came down a lot lately okay so also i'm looking at uh, a stock called teledoc it's a stock that provides um, a telemedicine and uh, patient uh, to doctor uh, communication uh, it's a Okay, um, it's, a, it's the online <coughs> marketplace uh, for handmade uh, and vintage goods. And, <coughs> and I like Ring Central, uh, RNG. Okay, <coughs> RNG. Ring Central is a cloud based uh, provider of communications and collaboration so uh, solutions. They have like web conferencing software, they have um, fax uh, phone systems, and uh, basically, like uh, when when you call and uh, you get to the business uh, hotline or something like that, it's probably handled by Ring Central, RNG. Okay, so and a couple of companies that uh, actually reported that I was watching yesterday is WSM. Uh, WSM is William Sonoma. William Sonoma came down a lot, and uh, it's a specialty retailer of home uh, furnishings and uh, gourmet uh, cookware. But um, they have stores; they're closing those own, uh, stores. But they also have a big online presence. I mean, they reported uh, uh, a pretty good numbers, uh, top Q4, uh, you know, um, top estimates. Uh, but provided no guidance due to the uh, coronavirus outbreak, and uh, they don't know what's going to happen. So basically, they didn't provide any guidance. Okay, so and another company is uh, MLHR, is uh, uh, Herman Miller that I was watching, and it's uh, office and furniture, uh, home furniture provider uh, Herman Miller, and uh, I mean they came down also a lot, but uh, this is not a place to be in, in my opinion. I mean they beat a little bit, missed by uh, slightly missed on revenue, but. Um, that's not a place to be, uh, in my opinion. That's on the corporate earnings side. 
so that's it guys that's the wrap for the day uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel click the like button and i'll see you tomorrow